Welcome back to Raw, where Buzz is still feeling the effects from his brutal match last night with Bray Wyatt. You're too late. I used up all the trainer's ice. I don't blame you. That was quite the battle out there last night. Well, thanks again for trying to even up the odds. No need for thanks. After what they did to me last night, it's become a little bit personal for me, too. I just can't believe that I gave it everything I had and Bray still managed to come out on top. Was it really everything? Of course it was. What are you saying? I'm saying, to beat someone like Bray Wyatt, you need to get past what you think are your limits and embrace your inner demon. At least, that's what worked for me. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to beat Bray and get Cole back. I just have no idea how I'm supposed to find my inner demon. Yeah. If it is demons that you seek, you should consider venturing to the multiverse with me again. Wait, did he say again? Uh, yeah, I've never been to the multiverse with you before. You have been before, in a different vessel, which is why it was deleted from your memory. Uh, I don't know about this. You said you were willing to do whatever it takes. Uh, I'm not sure about this either, Buzz. Since he's become woken, he's clearly accessed some hidden away dark places, which is exactly what you need to do if we're going to defeat Bray and rescue your friend. That's good. You can harness your fear to fuel your inner demon. Since he's that's good. Do not express worry. I have made many successful jaunts. <laughs> or when exactly is it? The seven deities have deemed that the multiverse cannot be found on a map or in a calendar. Instead, it's all around us, all the time. Don't you remember from your last journey? Ah, oh, yes. On your previous visit, I believe your spirit was held in the vessel of an ostrich. Such a fantastic pheasant.